your friends, Joel back with you. Let's talk about composite sun in the seventh house today. Now I know I made this video, but I can't find it and nobody else can find it either. So I have no idea what's going on there. So we'll have another go at it. So composite charts are how we blend. It's the cake we bake up from the ingredients that we put into the synastry. So when we have a composite seventh house sun, your identities are blending to create a new identity that is the relationship itself. So you sort of melt into the relationship or disappear into your union and your behaviors can reflect this new you. Um, so the egos are blending to become egoless as individuals, as you're acting out the relationship. So you retain your original identity, but it's really not exhibited within the relationship itself. That becomes something else. So there's the relationship you and there's personal life you. So some people that have, uh, you know, Libra or seventh house suns or other personal planets in the seventh house, they can really like this. But for other people, it can create a tension that revolves around the limitations of the relationship and allowing us to freely incorporate and express our true selves with within the relationship. So you're going to be able to accomplish a lot when it comes to being a team and your combined efforts are very, very, very productive when we have this kind of uh, composite seventh house placement. There's a really good blending when it comes to how you behave within the partnership and how that relates to your goals and your priorities. But again, you end up expressing yourselves as we instead of you having a me. And me shows up elsewhere. So again, this can create a tension or a conflict about how the relationship is limiting our personal expression. You actually do change to accommodate this new relationship. Other people can actually pick up on this. There's, you know, this, this dramatic change. So, you know, someone who values their identity, right, their, their personal identity or their, their personal freedom or, you know, is very much about a life that is, you know, about expressing their, themselves as fully as they can authentically in all situations, um, sometimes they can have an issue with having this particular seventh house placement. They can feel that they have to pick between them and the relationship. Um, and you know, people that get into a relationship and they completely change dramatically and like now they love baseball and they hated sports before and they're this uh, new entity that is this combined thing, they'll often have this, you know, seventh house sun composite placement. So it depends on who you are, if you're going to like this placement or not. A lot of people that are looking to, again, to melt into somebody else or to become somebody else. If you have a lot of Scorpio stuff going on or Pluto stuff going on, you might really like this particular placement. It can make you, um, you know, feel again, like you've transformed into something other than yourself while you're in the relationship. We, we pick up are us while we are with friends or with family um, or with co-workers. Um, so there is a side to this where you again blend well as a unit and this is going to add strength to anything that you take on. You're going to find you work well together on most things that you can mutually agree on. And the issues don't come from disagreements or mismatched behaviors or dreams. It comes from feeling like we have to juggle or choose between our personal identity and our behaviors. Our behavior 
uh, our, our relationship identity. So for some people, this will be a very minor concern or it will not be a concern. It won't be something that they have a problem with. But if you value your individuality, this can cause you to feel somewhat lost within the relationship. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com, Facebook and Instagram, other social media at Truth and Aspect Astrology. Yes, I do private consultation. I'm mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I interpret all types of charts. And please find me on Patreon and support me over there. And I will be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye-bye.